Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. In this video, we'll be taking Culinarian from levels 50 to 60 in the MMORPG known as Final Fantasy XIV. Now, before we begin, there are two shopping lists that we need to purchase, and these are going to consist of items that we're going to use as materials for crafting. So, for this first list, we're going to purchase one aldicoat chunk, two almonds, one alkalu egg, four black pepper, one blood currant, one buffalo sirloin, one chamoil, one cider vinegar, one cinnamon, one cream cheese, one desert saffron, two dodo tenderloin, three F tail, five garlic and garlic, one gelatin, one honey, two laurel. One lavender oil, two maple sap, two maple sugar, one midland basil, two mineral water, two mirror apple, one natron, two nutmeg, one olive oil, one paprika, four pie dough, one pixie plums, one popo toe, one princess trout, one raisin, one ram horn zucchini, one raptor shank, two ruby tomato, one smooth butter, two sour red, one sun lemon, one sunset wheat flour, one sweet cream, six table salt, one tiny crown, one wild onion, one wizard eggplant. And the second list is going to consist of materials that we're going to be purchasing for the Lev Quest section of this video. So if you do not intend to meld your gear as deeply as I have with Materia, then it is highly recommended that you purchase the following items in high quality to give you a boost to your quality bar to make up for the lack of controls that you might have. And for these items, it's going to start off with 9 Boolean Cube, 24 Cyclops Onion, 24 Damel Meat, 3 Highland Flour, 9 Laurel, 3 Popo Toe, 3 Ramhorn Zucchini, and 12 Sour Cream. Now please keep in mind that a few items on this list are also in the first original list and I wanted to keep them separate, that way you can choose to buy them in high quality. Very specifically, it was one Popo Toe in the original list and another 3 high quality Popo Toe for this second list. So I'm going to show you the gear that I used for this first section of the video. Now please keep in mind that I'm using the exact same gear that I used at the end of the previous video so if you have not melded your gear with materia yet don't worry about it you don't need to melt anything into your gear at this point in the video all you need to know is you need to have at least 316 CP after all food and buffs have been applied and if you do not have enough CP then feel free to eat high quality blood bowl based food and high quality cunning craftsman syrup remember you do not need to meld any materia at this time and the reason for this is for the crafts that we're going to be doing for this part of the video, we're going to be way over leveled. So they're going to be very easy to complete. So here we are, we're going to speak to Linksat, the guild master, and accept the level 1 job quest known as My First Skillet. And it's going to have us crafting a maple syrup. Now even though it only needs a normal quality one, we are going to craft a high quality version of it. So we're going to go ahead and synthesize now. And this is very easy because we're way over leveled, so we're going to start off with Inner Quiet followed by Waste Knot 2. And then after that, we're going to use Innovation, then Basic Touch, then Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch. And if you need to, another Basic Touch and Standard Touch should max out your quality bar. Then we're going to go ahead and finish the progress bar by using 1 to 2 basic synthesis. Alright, now we've crafted 3 high quality pots of maple syrup, but we're only going to be turning in 1, so you can do whatever you want with the other 2. So go ahead and hand over. And do you really want to trade a high quality item? Yeah, sure, it's okay. After that, we're going to go ahead and complete the quest by speaking to Linksat. And after that, we're going to speak to Linksat the Guildmaster again and accept the level 5 job quest known as a Treat of Trout. And this is going to have us crafting a grilled trout, but we're going to be crafting it in high quality even though it only has to be normal quality. So go ahead and open up your crafting log and type in grilled trout. And then we're going to go and synthesize. And we're going to do the same rotation that we did earlier, and that's Inner Quiet into Waste Not 2. Innovation. Basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, and one or two basic synthesis to complete the craft. And there we go. We've crafted three high quality grilled trout. Now we're going to jump over this railing over here and turn one into Ingram to complete the quest. There we go. We're going to hand over. Do you really want to trade a high quality? Yep. All right. 
And there we go, we've completed the level 5 job quest. Now we're going to head back up the stairs and speak to Lingat, the guildmaster again, to accept the level 10 job quest known as Dodo It Yourself. And this is going to have us crafting Grilled Dodo. And once again, we only need to craft normal quality, but we are going to craft high quality for purpose of this video. Because once again, it's going to be very easy to do. So go ahead and type that into your crafting log and go ahead and synthesize. And we're going to use the same rotation, inner quiet, waste not two, innovation, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, then one or two basic synthesis to complete the craft. And there we go, high quality grilled dodo. And we're going to go ahead and turn one of them into Ingram to complete the crest. Hand over, high quality, yep, sure. And there we go. Now we're going to head back up the stairs and speak to Lingat, the Guildmaster again, to grab the level 15 job quest known as Ana Skewer Tip. So now we're going to jump over the railing again and speak to Ingram. Then after that we're going to head out the doors to the southwest and speak to Meitimga. And after that, we're going to craft a meat Mikabob. And even though it has to be normal quality, we're going to go ahead and craft it as high quality. So go ahead and synthesize. And we're going to use the same rotation. Inner quiet, waste not two, innovation, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, and one to two basic synthesis to complete the craft. And there we go. We've crafted three high quality meat Mikabobs. Now speak to Matei Maga again. And then after that we're going to head to Lingsath, the Guildmaster, to complete the quest. Alright, and there we go. Now we're going to speak to Lingsath again. And grab the level 20 job quest known as Releasing a Burden. So now we're going to be crafting dried plums and of course we're going to be doing it in high quality so jump over the railing and then turn right and then open up your crafting log and type in dried plums and there we go go ahead and synthesize so we're going to do the same rotation again inner quiet waste not two innovation basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch then one or two basic synthesis to complete the craft Alright, and here we go. We've crafted three handfuls of dried plums. So go ahead and speak to Diving Dove to turn them in. There we go. High quality, yep. And there we go. We've completed the quest. Now we're going to head back to Lingsat, the Guildmaster, again. And we're going to grab the level 25 job quest known as Winning Friends with Aldegoat. And we're going to be crafting Aldegoat Steak. So go ahead and jump over the railing again. Head toward Diving Dove and then open up your crafting log. And type in Aldegoat Steak. And we're going to be crafting this in high quality as well. Same rotation. Inner Quiet, Waste Not To, Innovation, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch. Then 1 to 2 Basic Synthesis to complete the craft. And if you're wondering why we're doing all these in high quality, even though they only have to be normal quality, is we need that little bit of extra boost from EXP by actually crafting the high quality item. You don't get more from turning a high quality item in, but the actual completion of it in your crafting log gives you some EXP. So go ahead and turn that into Diving Dove once you're done. And after that, we're going to head back to Lingsat the Guildmaster. And we're going to grab the level 30 job quest known as the Chef's Bane's Cometh. And now we're going to jump over the railing and speak to Diving Dove. And then after that, we're going to head out the doors and speak to Nono Pessa. So we're going to head due west 
right outside. And there we go. So now we're gonna have to craft smoked raptor. But this time it must be high quality. But don't worry about it. You're over leveled, so it's gonna be easy. So we're gonna do the same rotation that we've been doing. That's inner quiet, waste not two. Innovation, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch. And if you need to, which I don't think you will, you still have more durability. So you can do another basic touch, standard touch, just in case. And once your quality bar is done, then you can end off with one or two basic synthesis, depending on what your craftsmanship stat is. All right. So here we go. And there we go. We've crafted three smoked raptors in high quality. Then we're going to go ahead and speak to Nono Pessa again to turn them in. And hand over. Alright, so now we're going to head back to Linksath the Guildmaster to complete the quest. So we're going to head back in, then up the stairs. And there we go. And then after that, we're going to speak to Link Seth the Guildmaster again and accept the level 35 job quest known as Of Cooks and Books. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and accept. And now we're going to jump over the railing and we're going to speak to Leticia, who's to the right of the guild receptionist. So just in case you're wondering, she's right next to Charlize. So now we're going to have to craft a high quality serving of Ratatouille. So go ahead and open up your crafting log and search up Ratatouille. Go ahead and synthesize and here we go. Same rotation as earlier. Inner Quiet, followed by Waste Not 2. Then Innovation, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, and if you need to, another Basic Touch, Standard Touch rotation. And once your quality bar is done, then you can end the progress bar by using two basic synthesis. So as you can see here, we're done with our quality bar. So now we're going to move on to our progress. And we're going to finish that off. And there we go. We've crafted three high quality servings of Ratatouille. So go ahead and turn them into Leticia to complete the quest. So we're going to go and hand over. And complete. Now we're going to head back to Linksat the Guildmaster and we're going to grab the level 40 job quest known as Diplomacy of the Skillet. And please keep in mind that the recipes that we're going to be doing from here on out are getting closer to your level. So they're going to be more difficult. So if you need to, feel free to eat high quality blood bullet based food to increase your control stat. So now we're going to speak to Leticia and after that we're going to be crafting multiple high quality items with the first one being a high quality blood current tart. Now because the crafts are harder we're going to be using a new rotation and we're going to start off with inner quiet followed by waste not two then basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch and we're going to keep doing that until we've used up all our Waste Not 2 stacks. And that should get us to Inner Quiet 9. Once we have 9 Inner Quiet stacks, we're now going to work on completing our Quality Bar. And we're going to do that by using our Buyer God's Blessing combo. So we're going to start off with Innovation. And then Great Strides. And then slamming out a Buyer God's Blessing. And that should complete our quality bar in one go. So now all we got to do is do our progress bar. So go ahead and do two to three basic synthesis to complete the craft. So there we go. We've crafted high quality blood current tart. Now we got to do high quality pastry fish. So go ahead and put that into your crafting log recipe search. And we're going to do the same rotation that we just did. That's inner quiet. Waste not two. 
basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch doing that all the way until we have used up all our waste not two stacks bringing us to inner quiet nine and then we're gonna do innovation great strides by our God's blessing to complete the quality bar and then finishing off with two to three basic synthesis to complete the progress bar and there we go we've crafted high quality pastry fish next we need to craft a high quality chamil tea so go ahead and put that into your crafting log recipe search and we're going to be doing the same rotation that we just did once again that's inner quiet followed by waste not two basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch basic touch standard touch using up all our waste not two stacks bringing us to inner quiet nine then we're going to do innovation great strides by our god's blessing and ending with two to three basic synthesis to complete the progress bar once we've done that we should have crafted a high quality chamole tea so now we're going to turn them into Leticia to complete the job quest. So we're going to speak to Leticia now, hand over all three of them. And there we go. Now we're going to head back to Lynx at the Guildmaster to grab the level 45 job quest known as A Taste of Home. So go ahead and do that. And now we're going to jump over the railing and speak to Leticia. And as you can see here, we should be very close to level 52, which is great. So now we're going to craft high quality Dezeomel Gratin. So go ahead and type that into your crafting log. And we're going to be using the same rotation as before. That's inner quiet, waste not two, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch. Basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch. Using up all our waste not two stacks and then getting to inner quiet nine. Then we're gonna do innovation, great strides, by our God's blessing to complete the quality bar. Then ending the progress with two or three basic synthesis. And there we go. And that should craft high quality Dezeo Mail Gratin. So now we're going to go ahead and turn them into Leticia to complete the quest. And this should get us to level 52. All right, there we go. But we still have one more quest that we need to do. So we're going to head back to Lynx at the Guildmaster and accept the level 50 job quest known as Revenge of the Chef's Bane. All right, so now we're going to jump over the railing and speak to Diving Dove. And then after that, we're going to speak to Leticia. And then we're going to head due southwest and speak to Coco Rama. And then we're going to head due southeast across the bridge and speak to Gigi Wazu. And now we're going to teleport to the Limsa Lominsa Aetherite Plaza. And then we're going to head toward the market board area, past the market boards, and almost to the retainer vocate. So here we go. We're going to head in and speak to Rose. Now we're going to teleport to the Arcanist Guild. So we're going to head back to the Aetherite Crystal. And then Aetherite Telepoint to the Arcanist Guild. Once we arrive there, we're going to head due north into the Arcanist Guild. And we're going to speak to Ruba Epokan. Alright, so now we're back at the Culinarian Guild and we're going to speak to Leticia. And now we're going to have to craft multiple high quality items. So at this point, I highly recommend if you haven't already eaten high quality bullet based food to do that now because these crafts are actually gonna be very difficult. So the first one that we're gonna craft is a high quality eft steak. 
All right, so here we go. We're gonna do the same rotation as before. That's inner quiet. Waist knot two. Basic touch. Standard touch. Basic touch. Standard touch. Basic touch. Standard touch. Basic touch. Standard touch. And once we've used up all our waist knot two stacked, we should be at nine inner quiet. So we're gonna do innovation into great strides and ending our quality bar with uh, Fire God's Blessing. Then after that, we can finish the progress bar with two or three basic synthesis. All right, there we go. We should have crafted high quality F steak. So next we need to craft a high quality beef stew. Let's go ahead and put that into our crafting log recipe search. And we're gonna go ahead and synthesize this one now. Same rotation as before, inner quiet, waist knot two, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch. Using up all our waist knot two stacks, getting to inner quiet nine, and then we're gonna use those to do innovation, great strides, and slam out a uh, Bire God's Blessing to complete our quality bar. Then we're gonna finish our progress bar by doing two to three basic synthesis. And that should get us a high quality beef stew. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna craft high quality trapper's keech. So go ahead and put that into our crafting log. Trapper's quiche. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and synthesize. And once again, same rotation as before. That's inner quiet, waist knot two, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch using up all our waist knot two stacks, getting to nine inner quiet, and then using innovation, great strides, and Bire God's blessing to complete our quality bar, and then two to three basic synthesis to complete the progress bar. All right, and there we go. We've crafted high quality trapper's quiche. Now we're going to have to craft a high quality crowned pie. And once again, we're going to use the same rotation as before. And that's going to start off with inner quiet, followed by waist knot two, then basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch using up all our waist knot two stacks, getting to inner quiet nine, and then we're going to do innovation, great strides, by our God's blessing to complete the quality bar, then two to three basic synthesis to complete the progress bar. And in case you're wondering, the reason why we want to get to nine inner quiet stacks is by our God's blessing gets more powerful as you get more inner quiet stacks. And that's also because the more inner quiet stacks you have, the more quality you get per quality enhancing action. So it's twofold. All right, so now we're gonna to teleport to the Limsa Luminsa Aetherite Plaza. And once we arrive there, we're then gonna head due east. And then we're gonna to speak to Xantheo, the Storm Sergeant. Then we're gonna turn in all four high quality foods. So we're going to turn in the high quality eft steak, high quality beef stew, high quality trapper's quiche, and the high quality crowned pie. After doing so, we're then going to head back to the Culinarian Guild and speak to Linsath, the guild master, to complete the quest. And at this point, we should be level 52 and very close to level 53, which is great because it'll allow us to skip the level 50 crafting gear that is very expensive. And it's going to jump us straight to the next tier of gear. So for the remainder of this video, we're going to be doing lev quests, so we're going to teleport to the city of Isgard by taking the foundation Aetherite teleport. So we're going to scroll down toward the Corthoris bracket of teleports and select foundation. And here we go, we're going to teleport now. And once we arrive there, we're then going to take the Aetherite telepoint to the Sky Steel Manufactory. 
So we're going to go ahead and take the Ethernet now. And once we arrive there, we're going to head due east toward Eloin, the Temple Levmet, and we're going to stand in between Eloin and Fayanula. So now I'm going to show you the gear that I used for this portion of the video. Now please keep in mind that you do not have to meld your gear as deeply as I have with Materia, and instead you can supplement your control stat by using high quality materials to give you a boost to your quality bar. But please keep in mind that these crafts are extremely difficult. So I highly recommend using high quality gear as well as eating high quality blood bowl based food and drinking high quality cunning craftsman syrup. Because I can't stress to you enough how difficult these crafts are going to be. In fact, it's almost going to be required that you eat high quality blood bowl based food because you're really going to need that control stat. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and eat our buffs. So high quality blood bowl based food and high quality cunning craftsman syrup to boost our CP up. So now we're going to speak to Eloin the Temple Levmet. And we're going to open up Tradecraft Levs and we're going to grab the level 52 Lev quest known as Persona Non Gratin. And this is going to have us crafting high quality Damo Gratin. And this is a triple turn in. So we're going to actually craft this three times and make a total of nine high quality Damo Gratin. And make sure you do the Damo Gratin and not the rarefied Damo Gratin. Okay, so make sure you choose the correct recipe. Damo Gratin. And if you need to, go ahead and use high quality materials to give you a boost to your quality bar. So now we're going to be starting off with Inner Quiet. Followed by Waste Not 2. Then we're going to do Basic Touch. Standard Touch. Basic Touch. Standard Touch. Basic Touch. Standard Touch. Basic Touch. Standard Touch. And that should use up all our Waste Not 2 stacks bringing us up to 9 Inner Quiet. Then we're going to do Innovation, Great Strides, and then Bio God's Blessing to complete our quality bar. And that's going to give us a large amount of quality. As you can see here, we went from 15% to 100% in my video example. So now we only have 30 durability left. And we have a lot of progress bar to do. So now we're going to do Waste Knot because we need to lower our durability cost on our skills. Then we're going to follow up with Veneration because we need to give a boost to our progress enhancing skills. And then we're, we have enough durability to do five basic synthesis in a row. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to use the last five durability on our final basic synthesis to complete the craft. And there we go. We've crafted three high quality Damo Gratin. But we need to make nine. So we have to craft this two more times. So we're going to go ahead and do the same rotation that we did earlier. And that's basically inner quiet, waste not two. Basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch, basic touch, standard touch. Using up all our waste not two stacks then going into innovation great strides by god's blessing waste not veneration and ending with five basic synthesis to complete the progress bar and after we've crafted this three times we should have a total of nine high quality damo gratin so you can double check here once your crafting log pops up. As you can see here, we have crafted nine of them. So now we're gonna to speak to Fayanula and turn them in. So we're gonna hand over the first three. Hand over, yes. Complete. Then we're gonna submit additional, yes. Hand over the next three, yes. And complete. And submit additional, yes. And hand over the final three. Yes, and complete. And as you can see here, we got a lot of EXP. That was a good lev quest. So now we should be level 55. So I'm gonna show you the gear that we use for the next portion of the video. And as you can see, most of the gear is the same as what we were using earlier. 
but we did make a few changes. Now it's very, very important that you eat high quality blood bullet based food for sure. Because the next set of crafts are going to be extremely hard, harder than what we just did right now. Okay, especially since some of our gear is not up to date anymore. Alright, so now that I've shown you the gear, make sure you have your food buffs up. And then we're going to speak to Eloy in the Temple Lev Mat. And we're going to grab the level 54 Lev Quest known as Old Victory's New Taste. And we're going to be taking this Lev Quest all the way up to level 60. Very important. So we're going to be making a lot of these. So we're going to be crafting high quality Damo Fricassee. And for each Lev Quest, we have to do it three times because they're each triple turn-ins. And we have to craft nine of them for each Lev Quest. And we're going to do this four times. So for the rotation that we used here, we're going to start off with a new ability called Muscle Memory. And this is going to give us a large amount of progress, but it must be done on the first step. Then we're going to do Inner Quiet right after. And then we're going to load up Final Appraisal. Then we're going to do Veneration. And then we're going to do Waste Not 2. We're now going to use two basic synthesis in a row. And because we had Final Appraisal, it's going to block us from overcapping our progress. So it's going to stop one shy of 808. So we're, as you can see, we're 807. Then we're going to work on our quality bar. So we're going to do Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, Basic Touch, Standard Touch. And that should use up all our Waste Not 2 stacks and bring us to 7 Inner Quiet. Then we're going to do Master's Med to get our durability back up to 50. And then we're going to do Innovation, Basic Touch, Standard Touch, bringing us to 9 Inner Quiet stacks. Then we're going to do Great Strides and By Our God's Blessing to complete our quality bar. From there, all we need to do is basic synthesis to complete the craft because we only need one more progress. So there we go, we've crafted high quality Damo Fricassee. And we need to do this two more times so we can have a total of nine of them. So just so you understand how we're doing this, that muscle memory, it gives a first big shot of progress. And then it still has a couple stacks of turns that we can use. And it's going to boost the next synthesis action. So that's why we have to do it in that exact order. So now that we have nine high quality Damo Fricassee, we're going to speak to Fianula and turn them in. So we're going to turn in our first three. Hand over. Yes. Complete. Some additional. Yes. Hand over. Yes. And complete. And the final three, some additional, yes, hand over, and complete. Alright, so as you can see here, we should be level 57. And we're going to repeat this Lev Quest three more times. So once again, speak to Eloy in the Temple Levment every time we do this. And grab the level 54 Lev Quest known as Old Victory's New Taste. And then of course craft nine more every time we want to do this three times more and we're going to craft a total of 36 high quality Damo fricassee and then we're going to turn them into fianula and after all that's said and done we should get to level 60 and there we go yeah this this left quest really good so hand over the third one and we should have a pretty good buffer into level 60 all right, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button, and ringing that bell for future notifications on videos that I might be posting in the future. And in case you're interested in supporting the channel even more, I do have a merch website at streamlabs.com backslash dngdangerous backslash merch. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.